All right, guys, uh, I'm back with uh, another sequel to that series, or to this series, I should say. So, there was some things I completely forgot about on here, and this is probably why it wasn't working. So, uh, let's go ahead and fix that. And the reason why is, let me explain, we never uh, set up our uh, state events on these. And that's very important because... Uh, it's part of the whole process. I don't know how I overlooked that, but we're gonna create some uh, events here for uh, the lock left foot. Uh, we'll open up your third person and a BP and go to your uh, stop states, or it was under base layer, locomotion states, stop, stop states. And once you're under here, Select uh, this and just create an event. I'm going to call mine stop L for the left, left and stop R for the right. For both the lock and the plant. Okay. Now, uh, once you've done that, come back out here. Select the... Uh, the one that's moving from moving to not moving and make sure you got that quick stop uh, one set up there. Now we're going to go to our event graph. We're going to create a custom event. We're going to call it play transition. We're going to give it an input. I'm just going to uh, name this uh, Params, um, I guess. So this is going to be a dynamic montage params uh, type. And this is one that they created. So if you're not uh, familiar with that, uh, I'm not going to recreate it. It's just a, uh, it's just under here somewhere. Let's see, under data probably. Data tables, enums, it's going to be a structure, I think. So, dynamic montage params right here. So, it's just a structure that's holding an animation and four floats. You can create your own if you want, but I'm not going to. So, off of here, we're going to play dynamic, play slot animation as dynamic montage. We're going to drag this out and break dynamic montage params. Oops. So animation goes into asset. Blend in time, blend in time, blend out, play rate, and start time. So over here, we're going to right click and we're going to call that, uh, let's see, the stop, stop L event. And let's see if we can find ours. Uh, it, we have to compile it first and then save it before we can find ours. So compile it and then type in stop L. And now you'll see that it's right here. And do the same thing for stop R. And quick stop. So we're going to call this play transition off of here. And we're going to split this for each one of them. I'm just pressing Q there. So let's see. And I'm just going to use the values that they used. So on their stops, they used 0 0.2, 0 0.2, uh, 1.5, and 0 0.4. 
and you can play around with these uh, settings to try to get it to look how, like how you want it to but more than likely you're probably not going to get it looking any better than this because they already went through all that to get these settings correct so sorry I left y'all out hanging on that one but I'm um, compared to most people I'm pretty fast about coming out with uh, parts to my series some people they only do one part a week um, so now we need to set our um, animations here so let's uh, just do it this way let's go into our mannequin animations transitions and stop L down is going to be for stop L stop, stop R down is going to be for stop R and in transition L is going to be for quick stop and now alright so I made a stupid mistake. Um, first off, you could probably set this to zero, but I don't think it really matters. It, negative one and zero is probably doing the same thing. But uh, also, we need to assign this a slot uh, name. I, unless I'm all over the place today. Sorry. So after you've assigned it a slot name, uh, we're going to call it grounded, and we're going to add us. We're going to go to our anim slot manager. If you don't have it, go to window anim slot manager, and add slot, and call it grounded and uh, make sure that this is the same name exactly as the slot and then you're going to go into your base layer and you're just going to drag out here and type in default slot and you're going to select it and you're going to uh, over here under slot name under details select your default group dot grounded and after you've done that it should be working. If it's if it's still not working, uh, it's probably not playing that slot. So you can uh, play with the blend time. Uh, so you see how it kind of it kind of blends blends to that pretty quickly. Um, now. That uh, teaching you about blends uh, isn't really the uh, purpose of this video, but if you go back, if you go back to this, you can play around with the blend in time. Uh, mostly is what we're worried about is the blend in time, and the longer you make those blend times, uh, the slower it'll play so let's say I just put that to one on these and we'll go ahead and uh, and you'll see we'll see it looks a little bit better but that's actually not what doing what I was thinking it was gonna do that's just for the uh, animation so I think what you would need to do is you would need to add the blend, the blend somewhere else probably uh, before the grounded slot anyway so we we got that uh, working how uh, we wanted to uh, this was a really long series so if you did make it this uh, far I commend you, especially after that last one, uh, because there near the end, I kind of got lost and confused, and uh, I had completely forgotten that we have to uh, play the transitions. So that was a really dumb mistake on my part, and I apologize for that. Uh, and I hope uh, you all made it through this uh, series. It was a very, very long one, so... Uh, yeah, if you found this helpful, uh, make sure to like down 
below, uh, consider hitting that notification bell and uh, possibly subscribe. So I appreciate it, guys. Uh, uh, if you have any requests, let me know because I do take requests. And uh, so somebody asked me to uh, if I had a Patreon, and I think it's the second person that's asked me that. So I'm considering putting up a Patreon. I've just been holding out for it because uh, because I didn't really have very many uh, subscribers before, but now my channel is really starting to take it take off, and I appreciate you guys. And uh, yeah, so I'll see y'all next time.